All right, um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your first API request to ServiceNow, but uh, using OAuth. Um, so basically you'll have to make an OAuth connection and then, uh, and then uh, basically get an access token and then use that access token as um, your authentication into the API. So uh, first things first, let's go into our ServiceNow instance. So um, you first, to, to be able to do this, for, you first have to create an account in ServiceNow. Um, and I show basic auth in my uh, previous video. So if you haven't seen the basic auth one, um, which basically makes an API request with just um, username and password, make sure to watch that video. But in this video, I wanna explain uh, OAuth because it took me a little bit of time to understand and uh, to, to do and I was making some very um, simple mistakes that I don't want you to make. So first things first, let's go to application registry. Um, so system OAuth application registry, we'll click here. And in here we'll click new and we'll create a new API endpoint for external clients. And now we can do, uh, you can name this anything. Um, so I'll name this um, OAuth uh, API demo and you can leave this blank and I'll just hit submit. Um, and now you'll see my OAuth API demo. Um, the client secret is auto, has been automatically generated. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a new tab. And now I'll go into Postman. So in my Postman, um, I've already, you basically just need your instance here. Um, and then slash OAuth underscore token dot DO. And for grant type, you'll need to have password. And of course, uh, it has to be a post request and it has to be uh, in the body you wanna choose uh, xww uh, url encoded um, so the client id is going to be this this thing here so i'll go ahead and grab that so i've created a new client id the client secret is going to be uh, just this so i'll grab that um client oops that's not what i meant to do so client secret there and then now I'm gonna just use my admin and my and my normal password. And then basically you can do that by just grabbing your um, manage instance password. And here's admin and here's my, you know, here's my dev instance and here's my password, etc. cetera. Um, so that's pretty much it. What I made a mistake on is that I, from my previous request, I think I, ha I left it as, uh, I think basic auth. So that gave me essentially an, a header that, um, I think the header already, you know, already created this basic auth string, which is giving me issues. So make sure here, um, you know, no auth and then click send. So now we have our access token. So, so you saw that that worked fine. We have our access token. Now we can actually go ahead and pass that in um, when we make a request. So let's show you how to do that. So I'll just do get incidents. Uh, let me try it right now. So we, there's no auth, right? Um, so my, let me make sure I have the right instance. Uh, so I need to change that instance ID. Um, so I'll just uh, manually do this real quick. So here is my instance now, and I'm, I'm, I'm basically just making a, a get request for my incidents. And all I need to do is go to authentication, and now I'll click on bearer token. And what I'll do is I'll grab this access token here, and you wanna save this in a secret, in a secret place. You don't wanna show this uh, to, to people. Um, because that's, if they gain access, they can basically gain access to your account. Um, you know, I don't have any real data. It's just a test account, so I don't really mind. Um, but anyways, I got the bear token. I'll click uh, here, add the token. I'll click send. And that's pretty much it. Now you see that I've uh, successfully authenticated and you can see all my incidents. Um, so it's, you know, it's not too bad. We did this uh, under five minutes. And basically all you needed to go do is just go into application registry and, and kind of create that external API endpoint and just um, basically pass that in in bearer token as your authentication type. So not too bad. Um, hope this helps and uh, I'll see you next time for the next ServiceNow tutorial. Thanks.